Hey guys, I am back with another video for you today. Today's video is going to be my November favorites video and I'm super excited because I do have quite a few new things to share with you. Um, we are officially in December and out of November, which makes me really happy because Christmas is my favorite time of the year. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know that I can personally say that I had an amazing Thanksgiving dinner with my family, my boyfriend and my family. Um, I do work retail, most of you do know that I do work retail, and um, this time of the year really is hard for me to enjoy because working in retail, um, retail can be very demanding, especially during the holidays. Um, I wish it was not like that, I really do, but this year I was actually able to sit down and enjoy dinner with my boyfriend and my family, like I said, out of the 11 years that I've been with this specific company. Um, I didn't have to do the Midnight Madness this year. Black Friday was a little light for us. I do have to admit it was a little light. It was one of the lighter Black Fridays that I've had in the 11 years that I've actually worked for this company. Um, I really do wish that they would just take Black Friday away completely. I'm just going to put it out there. Black Friday does not need to be hyped up as much as it is. I think that retailers should bring back that family time, that quality with your family during the holidays. I just... I feel that like that's more important than having to actually run a business. You know what I mean? I think it's just really important to spend that time with your families. I know that one of my managers actually did lose her grandmother right before, I, I believe it was the day after Thanksgiving. And you know, the fact that she had to work on Thanksgiving day just breaks my heart because these are moments that are spent with your families, you know, like holidays, family comes down from out of town, you know, everybody's getting together and you never know if that's the last time you're gonna officially sit with them you know, during the holidays. So it's just, it really breaks my heart that retailers have taken this whole holiday season and turned it into greed. Like it's just nothing but greediness that comes out of it. I just don't, honestly, I don't think it's worth it. Um, to be completely honest with you, I, like I said, I am super thankful that I did get to spend the holidays with my family this year, but it was the one year out of 11 years that I actually did get to do that. I remember when I started retail years ago, um, you know, we were closed. Retailers were closed on Sunday, Easter Sunday. They were closed at 6 p.m. on 4th of July. And, you know, they were also closed at 6 p.m. the day before Thanksgiving. And then Thanksgiving, you were closed. I just really wish that retailers would bring that kind, those kind of hours back into, you know, businesses. I think it's important to spend time with your families. It's, it's not fair. I don't think that it's worth it. it a few dollars, a few extra thousand dollars is not worth, you know, the time that you're taking away from your family. So I just had to throw that out there because I just, I feel like it's not that important to be out there on, you know, a holiday day when you should just be spending it with your family. So I don't know. I just thought I'd throw that little rant out there. Let's jump into this video before I go like super into depth and detail about you know, what retailers should do. Maybe I'll make a whole separate video about that. I've been retail for a really long time, so I can actually do that. Um, but I won't. I won't do that. <laughs> Let's just jump right into this video. Um, I do want to mention quickly that I did film this eye look for you. I don't know why I sounded so serious when I said that, but I did film this eye look for you. I have not done a makeup look for you in quite some time. I didn't do the full face. I just focused on the eyes. So I did film that for you and that will be up sometime later on this week. But I really thought it was just the perfect eye look for um, the holiday season. So it is going to be a holiday eye makeup look. And I hope you guys all enjoy it. I haven't done a makeup tutorial for you guys in quite some time. Um, I feel like you guys pretty much like mostly like my hauls or my favorites videos but um, I just thought I really wanted to film a video for you guys and I did add a little bit of glitter to this eye makeup look right here which what is um, the holidays without a little bit of sparkle so I thought it was really nice I thought it turned out really great and I hope you guys all enjoy it when you see the video I know in that video I did speak a little quickly just because I am fighting some type of a cold so I do apologize if I sound pretty weird in this video too. My body is trying to fight a cold and I'm trying to get through everything as quick as possible because I do have a really nasty cough but nonetheless I filmed that video and I'm going to get through this video too. So let's jump right into the favorites of video because this video is going to be extremely long if I don't. Alright so first I'm going to start off with this brush right here. This is the Morphe G30 brush and I thought that this was um, a brush that I was going to love when I purchased it in the beginning and I did love it in the beginning when I purchased it last year at IMATS but then after I used it a few times I really felt like I wasn't using it 
the right way. Um, up until recently, I have really been using this brush like crazy. Um, I've been using it with like a darker bronzer. So I'll dip this brush into a darker bronzer and I'll kind of lightly stamp the darker color right here and I won't bring it all the way down. I'll just keep it right here, creating like a really nice contour. Um, and then I will take a lighter bronzer and I will actually buff it out with a large buffing brush. And I'll kind of marry the two together and it just adds a really nice light contour and some definition to my cheekbones, which I have really been loving. Um, so yeah, I have really been loving this brush. I think in the beginning I was kind of pressing the product into um, my cheekbone, right underneath my cheekbone, and it was just making this intense line that I couldn't blend out. But if you really t lightly stamp the color right into the hollows of your cheekbone and then blend it out, it's really easy to work with. So that is why I have been loving this brush right here. I definitely want to invest in the Shade and Light Contour Palette palette by Kat Von D because now that I have this like little technique down I really want to invest in like a shade and light contour palette because I really like the way that the contour ends up coming out when I use this brush right here so I definitely want to invest in more brushes like this because I think they're amazing so I absolutely have been loving this again it's the Morphe G30 brush all right next on the topic of contouring and highlighting. I actually have purchased the, I recently purchased the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder and this powder right here is something that I have been wanting to get my hands on but I remember when I purchased the Makeup Forever translucent powder it just made me look very white like it created like this white powdery cast on my face and I really didn't like it. I still actually have it um, which I think I'm just gonna give it to one of my friends but for me it didn't personally work. Um, so that's why I was a little hesitant to get this. I purchased this with the 20% off VIB that Sephora had going on and um, I have been loving this stuff. <laughs> so I will go ahead and set my face with um, this powder after I apply my foundation. So this is what I have been using recently to set my foundation with. And then also after I apply that darker um, bronzer color and then blend it out with that lighter bronzer color, um, I will go ahead and dip this into a large fluff brush and kind of just like set it here and I've been using the baking technique. I've never really used that technique before in the past but since I've got this powder I've been using it and I'll let it sit there for like two or three minutes while I finish the rest of my face and then I will go ahead and dust it off and I just have this beautiful like contour, very light contour. I don't do the heavy contour or anything like that. I just like to add a little bit of definition. So it really keeps my bronzer from like um, oxidizing throughout the day or like diminishing a little bit of the color throughout the day. So it really keeps my bronzer nice and fresh throughout the entire day without really, you know, disappearing. So I have been loving this powder so much. I think it's an amazing translucent powder. It does not make me look cakey. It does not make me look white. It does not create that white cast. It's just a very beautiful baking and setting powder for me. So I have been loving this stuff right here. Next is the Murad Invisible Perfecting Shield. I mentioned this one time um, in one of my videos because I did receive it in one of the 500 point perk boxes that Sephora does carry. And I got it with like three other things. It was like an eye cream, a face cream, and exfoliator. And this was one of the things, this was one of the things in the package that I really wasn't like hyped about. But recently I've been using it because I've heard tons of great things about Murad and especially the primer. And I really have been liking it. I use it with or without makeup. So if I cleanse and exfoliate my face with one of the products that I'm gonna talk to you about in a minute, um, my face has really been looking really, really good with that specific cleanser. If I do not feel like putting makeup on, I just put this primer on without any makeup. I'll put it like right here, down the bridge of my nose, forehead, and chin, and it really blurs out any imperfections that I have, kind of evens out my skin tone at the same time, and it just makes my face look really nice, fresh, and natural. I really have been loving this. So again, like I said, I wear it underneath my foundation or I'll wear it with no makeup at all. Like if I just have a day off and I'm just at home lounging around and I don't really want to throw on any makeup, I'll cleanse my face, throw a little bit of this on, and I just, I really have been loving the way that my skin looks without makeup. So I really do enjoy this stuff. I kind of want to pick up a full size version of this. So, all right, next is some hair products that again, I also received in the um, 500 perk um, gifts that Sephora does have. 
for you if you are a VIP, you do get to pick certain things once you accumulate so many points from Sephora. And I did purchase a few things with the 20% off that they did have for VIP members. And this is one of the things that I purchased. It's the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. Not only did this come in the little box, but I also ended up getting the CC Cream. It's the 10-in-1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Conditioner. And then I also received the Lengthening Hair and Scalp Elixir. So all four of these came in the box. And I can honestly say that all four of these products, I definitely want to get my hands on. Um, when it comes to shampoos and conditioners, I'm really picky about anything that I put in my hair because my scalp is really, really sensitive. I do create a lot of buildup in my hair, so for me, I can't wash my hair every day of the week. I'll wash it like every three days. Uh, but again, I do start to create a little bit of buildup in my hair, which kind of makes it look like dandruff, but it's not. It's just my scalp is dry, so. Um, this stuff has been amazing for my hair. My hair has never felt and looked healthier. I think it just looks really shiny. It looks beautiful. I absolutely love it. The shampoo and conditioner alone are amazing, but after I shampoo and condition my hair, I will go ahead and put in the lengthening hair and scalp elixir. So I will just put a pea sized amount of this in my palm, run it through my scalp, kind of run it down the ends of my hair. And then after that, I put in the Caviar CC Cream. It's the 10 in one complete correction leave in conditioner. So you do not have to rinse this out. You just go ahead and put it throughout your entire hair. And my hair has like really, really never looked amazing. Like I feel like my hair is so much stronger. It's healthier. It's super, super shiny. I love this. I first heard about this from Casey Holmes. Um, if you do not know who she is, I believe her channel, uh, I'll put it right here or I'll put it in the description box. I cannot remember her channel. I just know her as Casey and I watch her all the time, but she always talks about this Alterna hair care and I absolutely love it. So I definitely will be investing in all full size products of those right there because I really, really do love it. So I'm really glad that I actually got to use 500 of my points on that because I definitely think that was worth it. Um, because yeah, I really have been loving the way that my hair looks with these specific products. All right, next is a Murad exfoliating cleanser. I told you guys I was going to pick up the full size of this because I really do love the way that it makes my face look and feel. Um, on here it says polishes away dullness and excess and excess cellular debris, priming skin for treatment products, reveals a smoother texture and more even tone complexion without irritation. So in my last video when I mentioned this, when I got the um, travel size or like the sample size of this, I remember stating that I had felt like my skin tone was a little bit more evened out when like I would wake up in the morning and it just looked, my face looked so nice and healthy and I didn't have any red blemishes or spots on my face and the um, sample size bottle actually didn't say that it evened out skin tone, but the bigger bottle does state that. So that's why my face did look like that. Um, so I definitely seen a difference in the way that this product actually worked on my face. I loved it so much that I actually purchased the full size and it's a pretty good size like um, exfoliating, exfoliating cleanser. I will use this in the morning and at night and I just love the way that my face looks with this. With no makeup on, like I feel so super comfortable with no makeup on after using this product because it just works really well for me. So if you guys are looking for a really good exfoliating cleanser, I definitely recommend the Murad one. I know it's a little pricey, but the size of this bottle, you will get like your money's worth out of this. You don't even need that much when you go to use it. You just need very little of this. And the exfoliating cleanser beads in this product, it's not even like really like beads. It's kind of like a gritty kind of type feel. It's very sensitive to the skin. It's not harsh at all. I think it's an amazing product. So if you guys are looking for something that is a cleanser that's really gonna get that makeup off, really polish and prime your skin and really get all the dirt out of your pores, highly recommend this one right here. This is what I will use at night. I will also use it in the morning and then I will also use this Murad Invisible Perfecting Shield. If I don't wanna apply any makeup, I will just throw this on and my face just looks really, really nice and natural. So I've been loving those two right there. Definitely think that that was worth um, the money. All right, next is this little palette that I have been loving. It's from Tarte. And again, this is also what I picked up with my 20% off at Sephora. And at first I didn't think I was gonna like this because some of these little palettes that they have like this typically don't work. The shadows in them are just not worth it. Um, 
They're not very pigmented at all. They're not blendable. They're just really hard to work with. But this one right here was actually really nice. I hate that they come with this like little overlay right here. But this palette alone was really, really gorgeous. I'll do a close up and I hope the camera will like zoom in on it. There it is right there. So gorgeous guys. If you guys are looking for like a really nice palette that you can just take with you, you guys all know I'm all about those palettes. Come on, focus. There you go. You guys know that I'm all about those palettes that I can like travel with. So I really like palettes like this that I can easily take with me anywhere and I can get like an entire eye look out of this. So this does come with a blush. It does come with three kind of purpley shades. So it has like a shimmer shade right here. It has a matte, a lighter matte shade, and it does have a darker matte purple shade. And then it also has a dark brown shade, a really nice taupey kind of brown color shade, and it has a lighter um, matte brown shade. And then it has your like your brow bone color that you need to put right underneath your brow. So this will do a full eye look for you. Like, it's amazing. I love this. And I love that they're really, really pigmented. So you can see right there, they're really pigmented. So I really like them. They're easy to work with. They're easy to blend. I really like it. And I just love how convenient this palette is. Like, it comes with a blush. It comes with taupey shadows. It comes with purple shadows. I love purple shadows. So if I want to do something different, I do have my purples in there to work with. And then if I want to do something very neutral, which I'm always traveling for work, so that's what I typically will tend to buy is like palettes that are convenient to take with me on work trips. Um, I can use my taupey colors that are in here and create a very nice natural look, but if I wanted to go out at night, I can do something a little different, but not too much with the purples that I have in this palette. It also comes with a very um, dark kind of, it looks dark brown, but I believe it's black. So you can definitely intensify the crease just a little bit to create a very dramatic smoky eye if you want to, or you can just tone it down with the darker purple or the darker brown and just blend it out really nicely. So I really, really do love this palette, guys. It's I think it's amazing, and it does have like this really pretty highlight shade, which I don't know if this is an actual highlight shade for the cheekbones, but I think it's a beautiful shade for the lid. I wouldn't necessarily use this for my cheekbones just because I think it's a little too chunky for me, but again... It's gorgeous. See how pigmented it is? It's beautiful. So I really, really, really do like this palette and I think it's gonna be convenient for me to travel with. Um, I hate that they do this. It kind of really makes the whole palette look a little cheap, but whatever. I keep it in there so that I know the names of all of the colors that are in this palette. So picked that up and I really have been loving that. All right, next are a two things that are two new things that are two new things that I picked up from ColourPop and I picked these up a while back and I got them in and I actually really really like them. Um, I had seen so many people talk about this color right here. It's DGAF and this color right here is super gorgeous guys. Do you see that? It is the most beautiful color. I really, really like it. I like wearing this color just all over the lid and kind of blending it out a little bit with nothing else on, just a brow bone um, color and that's it with some mascara, a little bit of blush and a light lip gloss and this color looks so beautiful. Like you get that really nice natural kind of like brown, I don't even know how to describe that color. It's not really brown. I'm really bad at describing colors, but you just get a really natural look and then you have that shimmer that just kind of like every time your eyes hit the lights, like it just shimmers and it's so gorgeous. So yeah, I've really been loving this color right here. And then I also picked up Teeny Tiny. I keep calling this Teeny Weeny. I don't know why I do that, but it's Teeny Tiny. It's from ColourPop. It's the ultra matte lipsticks that they have. And I believe this is one of their newer colors. When I first got it, I was like, oh, I don't know if I like that because look at how intense that is. But I wore it a few times and I actually really, really like it. Um, it makes for a really nice kind of grungy look. So when I'm wearing like my baseball hat or something or like the hat that I got from Gia Monet, I'll just do a very light, natural kind of look on the eye and then I'll pop this on with maybe like a hooded sweater or something. And I don't know, it just it's really, really kind of grungy looking to me. So I really like it. Typically these colors don't work well on me because I'm already dark. Um, but I really, really like this color right here. It is like an intense, like dark color. It's coming off a little pink, but it's not too pink on, um, like in real life. I don't know why it's coming off like that, but it's really like kind of like a darky brown kind of color. So I don't know, I really like it. So, all right, next is the 
fun part. This is my Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette. If you guys don't know who Makeup Geek is, she's Marlena here on YouTube. Check her out. She's amazing. She's such a sweetheart. Um, but she recently came out with some new matte eyeshadows, duochromes, foiled eyeshadows, you know, all of those things right there. She came out with some of them, and she actually reformulated some of her matte eyeshadows. And I picked up some of them. Guys, these are the most pigmented buttery smooth matte eyeshadows that I've ever worked with like I know that I go back and forth with my eyeshadows and it's because I have so many different palettes and um, eyeshadows to use all the time that I really like don't like sticking to one thing so I go back and forth between eyeshadow palettes eyeshadows that I have like my ColourPop eyeshadows I just go back and forth all the time but these eyeshadows are seriously the best eyeshadows that I have ever worked with like hands down the best eyeshadows. I actually really, really love these, and I have to say these are my favorite eyeshadows out there. They're so inexpensive. They're easy to work with. I think for the price that she carries them for is way too low. I don't want to complain because I love the price point, but these are really top quality eyeshadows. So I picked up a few of them. I will go over them with you. I will also have close-ups of these as well. This one right here is called Americano, and being that this is a dark matte eyeshadow, you would think that this color is so hard to work with, but it's not. It's super, super easy to work with, and it's, look how pigmented that is. That's insane. That is insane. This is actually what I have on my eyes right now. Like I said, I did a whole makeup, um, eye makeup look, and I filmed it for you guys using these specific shadows right here, so I'm excited about that. So if you guys want to see that video, I will have that later up this week. But yeah, this is one of the colors I used. And look at how, like, it's just so, like, they're so easy to work with and blend. They are beautiful. So that's Americano. And then I actually picked up this one right here. Again, this is a matte, matte eyeshadow. And of course, you know, I had to get some purples. This is called Curfew. And again, it's just a really deep, intense, like, do you see that? It's crazy. It's insane. And to put that, like, I know, like, these are just swatches on the hands, but... Put them on your eyes, test them out for yourselves, try them out. They are beautiful. They are super easy to work with. And then I also picked up this matte one, and it's called Petal Pusher. And again, this is just a really light kind of pinky. You probably won't even see this. It's right here. <laughs> you can't even see. It's like the color, the color, the color of my skin here. But it's like a really light kind of pinky, purpley, mauvey color. That's why it's called Petal Pusher. It's really, really, really pretty. And then I also did pick up um, one of her, what is this one? It's a foiled eyeshadow. And this one is called Mesmerized. This color is gorgeous. It is so pretty, guys. Like, this color is intense. That's it right there. Like, how gorgeous is that color? It is so beautiful. I love this color. It's like one of my favorite colors. And then I also picked up one of her duochrome eyeshadows, and this is in the color Havoc. This is what I have all over my lid right now. I'm just going to do a quick swatch for you because this color is gorgeous. It's kind of like a green, kind of brown with a little bit, like, I don't, I see a little bit of purple in it. I don't know if that's just the green and the brown together, but I see a little bit of purple in it, and it's so gorgeous. Do you see that? It's the duochrome eyeshadows that she came out with. And this is a lot like blue-brown by MAC, but I have mine in a pigment. So to have it in a pan is so much easier to work with. Um, I know that MAC also has blue-brown in a... I don't know if that's like the specific color name for it, but they do also have it in a pan. I believe they have it in a pan, but I just really love that the way, the way this one applies to my lid rather than the MAC eyeshadows. Like, I seriously can honestly say that these have literally taken over my MAC eyeshadows. Like all of her eyeshadows are just so beautiful. They're so intense. They're gorgeous. So these are all my Makeup Geek eyeshadows and those are just a few that I purchased and have really been loving. Like I said, I used a few of those shadows, All well actually not all of them, but a few of those shadows to create this eye look right here. They're all Makeup Geek. That's what's on my eye right now and I absolutely love them. So yeah, those are all my favorites for the month of November. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and if you have any questions for me on any of these products, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. I will answer every question that you guys have and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Also, 
If you guys do like my um, makeup tutorial look that I did for you, please give that video a thumbs up too. And that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.